Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on flow through pipes. In this video, we are going to find out what is the discharge through these pipes when these pipes are connected in series. So first, I will read what is the given question. The difference in water surface level in two tanks which are connected by three pipes in series of lengths 300 meter, 170 meter and 210 meter and of diameters 300 millimeter, 200 millimeter and 400 millimeter respectively is 12 meter. Determine the rate of flow of water if coefficient of friction are 0 0.005. 0.0052 and 0.0048 respectively considering minor losses also neglecting minor losses so this was the given question let us first understand the diagram as per given data so here the water is flowing from the first tank to the second tank through the pipes which are connected in series so if we observe here the first pipe is having length L1 300 meter diameter D1 so we have to convert from millimeter to meter so D1 0.3 meter then here second pipe is L2 170 meter and diameter D2 0.2 meter then the third pipe having length L3 210 meter diameter D3 0.4 meter now the difference in between the elevation of water surface in two tanks is also given so we can we have to mention that so this is the higher level water surface and lower level water surface so it is 12 meter so we will say that capital H is equal to 12 meter now if we observe this system so here the rate of flow or discharge Q will be remains constant when the water is flowing through these pipes so we have to say that here Q constant then if we observe why the head is getting lost because there are losses that is major losses as well as minor losses. So we have to find out those losses. Now we will observe this system. So here is the tank and from this tank when water is entering into this first pipe. So I will give here the numbers. This is the first pipe, second pipe and third pipe. So when the water is entering into this first pipe, so at the entrance there are losses at the entrance of the pipe. So we can say that this is the loss HI. Then when the water is flowing through this pipe 1, then it is in contact with the pipe surface. So again there is the losses due to friction. So we will say that it is HF1. So for the pipe 1, we will consider these losses due to friction HF1. Now when the water is entering from first pipe to second pipe. Now what we observe here diameter is 0.3 meter and here diameter is 0.2 meter. So here there are also losses due to sudden contraction of the pipe. So again we have to consider here losses due to sudden contraction. Then again water is flowing through this pipe second. So for this pipe second there are frictional losses. So we can say that HF2. Then again when the water is entering from the second pipe to third pipe there is enlargement. So here diameter is 0.2 meter and here diameter is 0.4 meter. So we have to consider losses due to sudden enlargement of the pipe. So we have to consider that. Then again for this pipe 3 losses due to friction that is HF3 and when this end also is connected to the tank. So again we have to consider losses at the exit of the pipe. So all the losses we have to consider. So why there is the difference in elevation? So this difference in elevation is equal to the total head loss due to major and minor losses. So we can show that this capital H is equal to we have to add all these losses that is capital H is equal to HI plus HF1 plus HC plus HF2 plus HE plus HF3 plus HO. So we have to consider all these losses. Now 
what about the velocity so when we have to calculate the discharge q so we know that what is the formula for this q that is area multiplied by velocity now this area we can calculate from this diameter but if we observe here velocity v1 v2 v3 all are unknown so if we observe here we have to first show the velocity so uh, velocity is in the first pipe, second pipe and third pipe all are different because here the cross section of the pipes are different that's why the velocity are also different so we have to show the direction of velocity is in the direction of the flow so here is the velocity v1 in the first pipe velocity v2 in the second pipe and velocity v3 in the third pipe so when the water is flowing discharge will remain same that is constant so we can apply here the continuity equation so according to continuity equation this q in pipe first second and third will remain same so we can show that q is equal to a1 v1 which is equal to a2 v2 which is equal to a3 v3 now this v1 v2 and v3 all are unknown so we will convert this v2 and v3 in terms of v1 so how to convert so suppose I will take here a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 then I will take v2 is equal to a1 by a2 v1. So we know that a1 that is pi by 4 d1 square a2 is pi by 4 d2 square. So this pi by 4 pi by 4 is getting cancelled. So what remains d1 by d2 bracket square into v1. So we will put here the value of d1 and d2. 0 0.3 by 0 0.2 bracket square into v1 which is equal to 2.25 v1. Now in the same way we have to take the value of v3 in terms of v1. So we have to show a1 v1 is equal to a3 v3. So v3 is equal to a1 by a3 v1. That is d1 by d3 bracket square v1. So when we calculate this we will get 0 0.5625 v1. So we have to replace this v2 and v3 in terms of v1 because all are unknown. So we can calculate only one velocity at one time. So now we have formula this capital H is equal to. Now we will put the value. So what is the losses at the entrance of the pipe. So we know that. So when water is entering into first pipe. That means we have to take here velocity v1. So what is the formula for this hi that is 0 0.5 v1 square by 2g so this is the loss at the entrance of the pipe then loss due to friction in the pipe 1 that is hf1 so what is the formula 4f1 v1 square l1 by 2g d1 then again loss due to contraction of the pipe so here uh, contra after contraction here is the velocity v2 so we have to consider this v2 so hc is equal to 0 0.5 v2 square by 2g then again loss at the frictional loss due to in this pipe 2 so again we have to take formula for f2 l2 v2 square by 2g d2 then there is the sudden enlargement so loss due to sudden enlargement that is v2 minus v3 so we have to consider the velocity in this both pipes v2 minus v3 bracket square by 2g then again loss due to friction in this third pipe that is 4 f3 l3 v3 square by 2g d3 and then loss at the exit of the pipe so here after third pipe there is the exit so we will take here v3 square by 2g now if we observe this formula this formula is in terms of v1 v2 and v3 so now we have to replace v2 and v3 in terms of v1 so now how we can write this so if we observe v1 square by 2g is common so we will take here v1 square by 2g as a common so here 0 0.5 v1 square by 2g plus now here v1 square by 2g we have to take here outside and then we will put the value of 4 f1 l1 by d1. So here is the value that we have to put. So we know that l1 is 300 d1 is 0 0.3. So we have to put here frictions also this coefficient of friction are different for this by first second and third and that is also given the value of f1 f2 and f3 so we have to take these different values then 
zero point five v two square by two g. So here is v two. So we will take v two is equal to two point twenty five v one. So here we have to take zero point five inside the bracket two point twenty five v one bracket square by two g. So we have to take then v one square by two g as a common, and we have to take two point twenty five square multiplied by zero point five. Plus again, if we observe here, here is also v two square. That means we have to take two point twenty five v one bracket square, and we have to enter the remaining values. So we will keep here two g as a constant or as it is. So then next v two minus v three. So v two that is two point twenty five v one minus v three. That is zero point five six two five v one. So we have to make bracket here is square divided by two g means we have to completely replace v two and v three. So we have to solve this bracket first and then we have to make the square. Then plus again here we have to replace v three v three that is zero point five six two five v one bracket square and we have to take here the remaining values. Then here is also v three square that is zero point five six two five v one square by two g. Now we will simplify this. So here we have to take v one square by two g as a common. So twelve is equal to v one square by two g, and we have to solve the all the losses. That is zero point five plus twenty plus two point fifty three plus eighty nine point five zero five plus two point eight forty seven plus three point one eight nine plus zero point three sixteen. So when we solve this, we will get v one is equal to one point four zero seven meter per second. So now discharge Q is equal to a one v one a one is pi by four d one square into v one which is equal to zero point zero nine nine four five meter cube per second. So we will convert it into liter per second by multiplying with one thousand that is ninety nine point four liter per second. So this is the answer when we we have considered here the major losses as well as minor losses. Now we will move for the second case that is neglecting minor losses. That means we have to consider only major losses, and major losses are the frictional losses. So we have to consider the friction loss in pipe one HF one, then friction loss in pipe two HF two, and friction loss in pipe three HF three. So we can say that this total head loss H is equal to HF one plus HF two plus HF three. So we can put here the value. So HF one four F one L one v one square by two g d one plus four f two l two v two square by two g d two plus four f three l three v three square by two g d three. Now we have already calculated the values. So when we take here v one square by two g as a common term, then inside the bracket we have already calculated previous. So we have to take the same value that is twenty plus eighty nine point five zero five plus three point one eighty nine. So when we solve this, we will get the value of V one that is one point four four five meter per second. And what is the discharge? That is A one V one. So which is equal to zero point one zero two one meter cube per second, and which is equal to one zero two point one liter per second. And this is the answer.